Hi all, in this video I am going to show you about a transport layer protocol. Let's get into the video. What is a transport layer protocol? It is a layer 4 of an OSI model. It mainly uses a TCP and UDP protocol for data transmission. Uh, transport layer protocol is mainly necessary for setting up a connection between two devices in order to communicate between them and transferring, transfer the data, which will they need. First, we just see about what is TCP and UDP that are to be used to main protocol as TCP and UDP. We just look at it. First, what is an UDP? UDP is a user data gram protocol. It is an unreliable protocol and it is connectionless, which means it can just start sending and doesn't care if it arrives or not. Its process is to just send the data and doesn't uh, confirm about whether it has been received at a receiver end and it doesn't have any acknowledgement or it be. It just want to send it. That's it. It's processed. It's over. Just see about uh, what's a frame format, what's a header. It uh, has a data, what is the data that is to be sent, and a source and destination port number. The base of a port number, it is transmitting the data, and uh, UDP length and checksum. Checksum is for checking for errors and length, uh, how much length the data size contains, or now what is the size of the data. That's what is mentioned. It's very simple UDP header. Next, we move on to TCP. What is a TCP? Uh, which is a transmission control protocol and is a reliable protocol. It's not like as uh, UDP, it's, this is a reliable protocol. It needs to set up a connection before transferring of data. The connection that TCP uses in order to set up a connection, um, it uses a process that is normally we call as a three-way handshake, which already I have described in the other video. The link description, link is given in the description, you can just click and it. I'll just give you an overview of what is three-way handshake. If two computers wants to set up a connection using TCP, it has to follow certain steps. First, it is just going to uh, sync, then sync acknowledge and acknowledge. What is the sync? First, it will send a sync bit to the host B with its own sequence number, set it to be as 1, and a host B will receive it, and the host B will uh, send again back to host A with a replaying uh, with an acknowledgement which is nothing but a replay of sync sequence number one which is nothing but a replay of sequence number one here's one and here is two with it along with acknowledge it also uh, sent another sync bit with its own sequence numbers considered to be as 100 and a host a will receive it and reply back to host b with its acknowledge uh, which is a response to the sequence number sequence bit sequence number here is 100 and this is 101 with its own sequence number two the sequence number here is being used for yeah, I have got all the information. If you would uh, like to send any other information, I can just get it. That's what it says. It's a previous three way handshake. And if you look at a TCP header, it has many fields. Uh, it's not as simple as a UDP. This is a many um, fields over here. It's I think better source port number, destination port number, and sequence, acknowledge flags, TCP checksum, and window size and data. These are all pretty much um, very hard to understand. In the sense, um, if you look at a checksum, it is for error detection, window size, how much of data it can send, flags, or nothing but, um, or what is the, um, what type of characters that a TCP has to do, the like push or reset, based on the process it will do it, and a sequence number and acknowledge number, this is based on the three-way handshake and the source and destination port number data, what is the data that has been containing in it. This is what a uh, window size. Suppose if you are having a considered to be as a computer and a mobile phone and uh, data that is transmitting from a computer to a mobile phone, it can overburden the mobile. But each TCP segment has a receive window size that so that the mobile phone can adjust this TCP window. That is, uh, I can receive only up to this amount of data, this amount of size, so that a sender can uh, cannot over, um, so that the sender can't go beyond a particular size it want to send so which helps to avoid over button of the receiver end this is why the window size being used next we have the tcp and udp since the tcp is reliable it can be used for and udp is unreliable then where it can be used it is mainly used for video streaming and voice over ip for downloading files and sharing data is for tcp why it is for voip and video streaming means suppose if every bit is to be acknowledged while you are on a telephonic conference or on a video streaming whichever you are uh, live video streaming if you are watch, um, on a con call with someone if you are on a telephonic interview or telephonic process if it uh, needs to get acknowledged for uh, every bit that is to be sent just think of it 
suppose if I was send, uh, sending a data and if it is not been acknowledged after some time if it gets acknowledged there will be a um, mismatch of conversation the first um, the first bit is being sent and the receiving bit will be sent at a later time means what account table there will be a mismatch of conversation and it will not be particularly being used and there will be some uh, errors there will be um, it is not good so for VOIP and video streaming the UDP protocol is being best and for downloading a file and sharing data TCP because when you are downloading a huge amount of file and data it has to be reliable or else the entire file will get collapsed and it will not work and what is the basic difference between TCP and UDP means TCP is a reliable protocol and UDP is non reliable TCP is connection oriented and UDP is connectionless uh, what is their main use for downloading in file and video streaming and VOIP that's what I said thanks for watching this video until next time if you like this video just click a like comment and share it don't forget to subscribe